So um, we have to realize we do live in a different world now. Our microbiome, our gastrointestinal system, the human immune system is living in a brave new world when it comes to foods. So these sort of cliched healthy foods, like let's talk about salads, for example. Like that's, I don't want to pick on salads, it's not just about salads, but lots of that's salad is like the personification, the epitomization of a healthy food, right? But a lot of people are trying to do the right thing, but they're feeling bloated and have digestive problems from salads. It's not the salad's fault. It's the human gut and the human microbiome's lack of resilience that it's being stressed out from raw vegetables, raw plant foods like salads. And I, if you're looking at how do you calm inflammation specifically originating from the gut, it's taking a sort of Ayurvedic, traditional Chinese medicine, a lot of indigenous ancient medicines approach to things like soups and stews and you know, going through times of brothing, through times of fasting, giving your gut this sort of proverbial siesta, this break, this reprieve to not be so stressed out. And think of it as like a proverbial like um, cast. If someone breaks their wrist or something, they have to keep their cast on for a while. Well, times of brothing, souping, and fasting, still being nourished, but a calming, grounding period when it comes from a, uh, comes to a food protocol or nutrition protocol can be a great way to untangle these inflammatory cascades that are originating in the gut. That's just one tip, but I think because it starts with food many times, we should start there.